Hi, Tony here at Views to the Man Cave with a review of the new Shoei RYD helmet. The RYD is Shoei's new street focused helmet. It has all the great features you'd expect of a Shoei helmet, but in a much more pared back basic style. This clean, less aggressive design, I think, makes this one of the most flexible modern helmets out there. It doesn't matter what you're riding, I think this helmet is going to work. I know some people like an unboxing, so let's show you what's in the helmet. First things first, <clears throat> there is a pin lock. If we pull out that little piece of cardboard, we have. If I open the bag of goodies in here, we get a little pot of silicon oil, there is the chin sock, we have a spare pair of pin lock pins, a couple of showy stickers, and then the usual kind of handbooks and bits and pieces. In the traditional showy helmet bag, there is the RYD. Okay, so let's take you through some of the features of the helmet. The shell of the helmet itself is made from Shoei's AIM material. This is a five layer multi composite. And the Shoei aren't gonna give away their trade secrets obviously and tell us exactly what's in here, but you've got a fiberglass layer on the outside. The next layer in is a layer of organic fibers. The layer after that is 3D organic fibers. Then we have a layer of special fibers followed by a fifth layer of fiberglass. So what that five layer construction does enable is a lightweight helmet that is very, very strong. This helmet also comes in four shell sizes. That means you're gonna get a low profile compact helmet whatever size you need. The EPS lining on the inside is a multi-density lining. So that multi-density inside the helmet just helps to control the movement of your head in an accident, for example. As I mentioned in the unbox, this is the basalt gray. The helmet comes initially in seven colors. So as well as this, you have six others in the range, which are white, black, black matte, blue matte, gray, and the one that you've probably seen a lot in the press is the tangerine. There's a lot of work that's gone into the helmet to make this aerodynamic, which should help keep things quiet. Now, shall we call this a street helmet, which means that the eye halt is slightly bigger, and also it's cut back slightly further here to help with that sideways vision. It comes with the clear visor but there are a number of other visors available for this helmet and actually it shares the visor with the NXR helmet. So that means you've got a whole range of visors to choose from. You have the Spectra color range visors, which have kind of got an iridium finish. They're available in blue, gold, rainbow, and silver. You've also got a light tint, a dark tint, and a yellow visor. And if you want to spend a little bit more money, you've got the option of the photochromatic visor, uh, which is the transition visor, which will change its tint depending on the brightness and the amount of UV light. And it does this uh, within a couple of minutes. So hopefully, in a later video, I'll be able to get hold of one of those uh, transitions visors and show you how that works. Another great function of this helmet, which we've seen on more modern helmets, is the EQRS, so that's the Emergency Quick Release System. You have these tabs in here. There is a little sticker that tells the emergency services what these are, but obviously the paramedics are, are well aware of these. But if you're involved in an accident and they need to get the helmet off, they can put their finger under this tab, pull that, it will pull the side padding out, which means they can slide the helmet off much, much easier. Really great feature, and that now is appearing on pretty much all of the new helmets that are coming to the market. Now, in terms of ventilation, you have, now this vent will push the air up through this section here up to help keep the visor clear. You also have little openings at the top here, which allow the air through, and you've got quite subtle pulps at the back uh, which will let the air go. So I'm going to test ride this and it's quite a, a warm, humid day today so I'll give you an idea of how well that ventilation works. What I like about it, it is quite subtle. You haven't got any big scoops or humps or anything on the top of the helmet. If I was going to gripe at anything on the helmet, well, I would probably look at the ventilation system. That would have been for me Quite nice to have that in the same color as the helmet, so it blends in a little bit, but obviously that puts the cost of manufacture up. Not that it makes it an ugly helmet by any means, but that's probably just me being picky and wanting to get the, the plainest looking helmet that I could. For fastening, the helmet has a double D ring, which I still think is the easiest and best option for chin straps. <laughs>
Now, whilst I'm here, I thought I'd show you how to fit the pin lock. And obviously the best time to put that pin lock in is when the helmet is new. I've not touched the inside of that visor. Uh, so we know that when we fit the pin lock in this, we're gonna get the clearest vision we can. Easiest way to do this is to remove the visor. It's very simple. You have this little tab here, which will release the plug and that just pulls off. Do the same on the other side. And there, the visor is out. And it'll come with a film stuck over it. So uh, don't be too worried about the colors. And you'll feel that there's on one side, there's like a little rubber gasket if you like, that's stuck to it. The plastic that's on there, don't need to remove it completely. I would just peel back the two ends. So without trying to touch the inside, you want to get this little notch into the pin. So I'm trying to do this with hay fever and having to keep stopping. So you've got that in each pin and then it's just a case of putting that down so that the gasket fits against the visor and then you can peel the rest of that off and there you go there's your pin lock in place so again to fit it is the reverse you just pull that lever down to fit the tab in it can only go in one way it's very simple to do pull the lever down locate where the tabs go and there you go there's your helmet with your pin lock ready to ride. So how did the helmet perform? Well, I've been out for a couple of hours uh, in the helmet. And the first thing to say is it is an extremely comfortable helmet. I think it's got a pretty general fit. I am one of those shaped heads that can kind of fit in a bell bullet just about. The Shoei JO is probably one of the most comfortable open face helmets I've ever worn. This is much the same. Very comfortable. I personally still feel a little bit claustrophobic in these modern helmets. All round vision is really good because this is a street style helmet. It's designed for more upright bikes so you get a nice wide open aperture not too high as you would do on the sports ones and because it has this extra little bit of cutback here uh, shoulder checks are really really simple in terms of ventilation uh, I found that these two small holes actually really did make quite a bit of difference you get a decent amount of air flowing through there and out of the venturis at the back that helped keep me cool you get a decent amount of air coming in through here to go up onto the visor though I found uh, even though it was quite a warm and humid day today I didn't really need that open those vents provided enough air the ventilation system works a treat and it's easy to operate both the top controls and the chin control with gloved hands I also found this helmet to be a very quiet helmet I rode it for a period of time with and without earplugs this does have a recess in the side for you to fit speakers in as I understand you can buy an extra pad that goes in there from show just to help black that off so if you're not if you don't want to wear earplugs that will make that a little bit quieter but uh, it is a quiet helmet the only thing i will say is i did notice a very slight whistle it wasn't enough to be annoying but i could just hear it there and it was between 40 and 50 miles an hour below 40 miles an hour it was fine anywhere it seemed to be in that uh, range between 40 and 50 there was a slight whistling which i think might have something to do with the top end of this visor because if i put my hand over that it stopped uh, once you get over 50 miles an hour it disappeared completely what do i think of the helmet well i really like it i think the styling is good that understated styling certainly if you've got it in one of the solid colors it looks pretty good on any bike you would choose to ride it's light it's comfortable it's quiet it's got good ventilation so all in all i think another winner from showy as usual there'll be a link up in the top corner for you to go away and take in some more information there'll be some extra vids in the end credit and that all important subscribe button if you like what i'm doing here please hit that that would be very much appreciated and all that leaves me to say is until next time take care ride safe and i'll see you soon bye